This dark, raw, sultry voice belongs to the amazingly talented Kovacs, a Dutch vocalist from Barlow. Kovacs' songs will take you on a journey of loss and love, of addiction and acceptance, of abusive relationships and romantic entanglements. This bare-hearted soul is reminiscent of such timeless acclaimed artists as Billy, Basie, and Winehouse. Kovacs' enthralling, captivating sound has earned her a European Border Breakers Award, a Radio 6 Soul Award, a Jazz Talent Award, and a 3FM Serious Talent Award. Her debut album, Shades of Black, produced by Oscar Holman, was recorded in multiple places around the world. It charted in 36 countries and even reached number one in Holland and Greece. Kovacs has opened for superstars like Robbie Williams and modeled for brands as a Viva Paris model. She has garnered over 60 million views on YouTube and counting. She is the one to watch as she is shooting straight to the top. Hello, beautiful Sharon Kovacs. Hello. Thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you for, uh, for coming. Well, and of course, I'm here because I want to hear you perform. Wow. I, when I was told that I could actually see you perform as well, I was like, yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> I, I came dressed to stand out yeah, and you, so you uh, can see me when you <laughs> I guess so. I can definitely see you now. <laughs> when you're on stage. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to just ask you a few questions yes. about your career, about your music, about, mm -hmm. this, about your new album, yes. everything. Yes. So let's jump on it. Yes. Okay. So first question. Yeah. Who is Kovacs? Do you want people to say when they describe Kovacs, the artist? I would love to hear that they would say I'm really myself, or always, cool. I think, yeah. That's an interesting question. Extravagant, extravagant. How you say it? Extravagant. Extravagant. I love it's, it. it's almost Jim. <laughs> I was saying this. I love it. Uh, yes, but I'm also very introvert and I can be very uh, sad sometimes. I'm very mel melancholic. Yeah. But uh, I actually overall I'm quite happy. But my in my music, uh, I channel all the sadness and uh, uh, yeah. You and put it in the right place. Yes. And uh, I don't know. I try to be very honest mm -hmm. and uh, and I hope people would say that as well like and uh, I don't know it's difficult because I just try to do what feels best and I don't know sometimes things come across differently than you think but uh, yeah we don't care about the haters we're talking about the people who okay love you. oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is very on point because that's what I think of when I am describing because I actually had to tell everyone who I was interviewing today in, yes. the, in the U.S. and I was like yeah she just seems so raw so passionate her songs just seem really reminiscent of someone who's putting their real emotions into their vocals yes I don't think in any way that I've heard someone so unique and also so I would have to say emotionally open in their music mm -hmm. in a long time yeah I have to guess. well I love I actually my biggest passion of my the music I love the most is most of the time the old music old, old singers which are always oh, very really? I don't know why but they're they were so honest mm -hmm. and they were so open uh -huh. back in the days and I don't feel it's happening right now no. a lot which is weird because we have all the opportunities to be very open mm -hmm. and to be very open-minded and but people don't do it, and I don't know why. No, you're just a special, beautiful unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thank you. You're <laughs> so welcome. This is true, you are I'm going to be uh, like shy now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> when you look back at your body of work so far, mm -hmm. what would you say is a signature song of Kovacs, or a song that personifies your signature sound? Well, I think My Love, which was actually the first song, I think that's where it all started, so that what makes every, it's, everything came out of that song. Uh, also, like, I wrote that song, that was the first song I wrote. Mm -hmm. um, but I think every album has, like, one song I see, like, where you're like, okay, this is, this is how I, and Cheap Smell for me, the second one is like, yeah, it's like definitely <laughs> my 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 anthem song. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Why I don't know why because it's all like I see. No, like my love, for example, was like it describes like a time, like a um, like a three years. I think an album cycle with me is always three years. So and uh, yeah, my love was actually me starting my career and like finding something that was 
yeah, something to hold on to. And I think that for me was my love and, and my love was then my music. Mm -hmm. And now Cheap Smell is like, you know, the journey that, that brings you like to where you want to be and like how you see yourself, how to how you get to know yourself. And uh, and like Cheap Smell is like, again, like of the second album, uh, like, a, yeah, that's how I felt that three years, like a Cheap Smell. And I'm like, okay. And I was okay with that. It's like, okay, I'm a Cheap Smell. And that was like, you know, um, yeah. I love it. I don't know. I know so, what you mean. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I would have never thought that that's what the song was ultimately about. Yes. Yeah, that's, see, that's why we ask these questions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, well, you wrote most, if not all, of the music on your last album. For this album, did you also write most of the songs as well? And if so, what would you say is your absolute favorite song on the album, or the power song? This, this album, album, new album. This album. Mama, Papa. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely a power song, but it's a big power song. You know, also like, again, like music helps me like dealing with like certain things, like emotions, but also like things, you know, that happened to me or that thing. Yeah, like the, dark, the stuff that is difficult. And then Mama and Papa was like, it's like a chapter in my life, which I still actually need to find out more about my dad. Mm -hmm. But then, yeah. and. Um, it's difficult to explain because it's a whole story that goes behind it, you know. I didn't know my dad and then um, and then when I grew up I left my home when I was 12. And uh, yes, yeah, so and then my mom never told me anything about my dad and I was always like, I didn't understand and it, like, and then um, now last three years I start to have conversation with my mom about my past and I met my father on Facebook and uh, and then he, uh, then he was like, okay, I'm very religious. And I was like, all right. But he was like, hey, wait, you need to be with God and stuff like that. And I was like, oh my God, I'm not going to yeah. be that. I'm not going to do that. What are you thinking? Yeah. So, and then I understood my mom why she was like not telling me a lot about him because he was apparently, he's like, you know, if I, I was very vulnerable as a child. So if I would meet him, I probably would go like, oh yeah, let's. I don't know. I'm, I'm actually quite happy that she not did it. And now it all makes sense. And this song is about this whole story mm -hmm. combined. And like, I'm telling, actually I wrote it for my mom to say like, okay, cool. it's, uh, it's fine. And, uh, and, and for my dad to say like, okay, well, try to accept me the way I am and then we can talk. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah. It's, 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 it's like, Therapy, yes, the it's therapy. But yeah. it's also like you're leaving it open for them to come in as well. And yes. Like, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a wow. beautiful song. I'm like, oh, oh. every time I when I sing it, it's like, oh. And now it's I'm going to really love it even more because I know this, this true story behind it. Oh. Yes, it's, a, yeah. it's an interesting one. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. But, um. Man. Oh, thank you so much for sharing that. I appreciate yes. that. Is there a video or a concert or performance moment that stands out in your life that was like a moment of impact? Mm. Either you were the performer or you were in the audience watching an artist. Yeah, I was watching this concert of Benjamin Clementine okay. with like a with like a, an orchestra, and I was like, <laughs> and I was like. This is like, oh, I, I was telling you about like how I'm, how much I miss like singers from back in the days, and mm -hmm. then I was there, and I was like, this is, this is one, it's back, it's back, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I don't know, I was like, yeah, it's that was my most amazing uh, concert I've ever seen, actually, I think. Was yeah. it the performance or was it? The yes, energy, he's the this energy air? and his honesty in his songs mm -hmm. and. Uh, also, his musicality and and his his voice and yeah, just all f it all worked out. It was just I don't know. I love him as well. He's an amazing artist. Oh, I get that feeling too. I, I love the old stuff as well. It's I don't even really listen to that much music recently. I love no, all me the old stuff. I love classical music as well. I listen to Mozart with my breakfast. Yes, <laughs> I'm still I'm, I'm getting to know a little bit of classical music now. But uh, I'm always like yeah. I like the, the classical music like. The, Yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> that almost sounds like a spaghetti western soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, I lo yeah, but it's the, probably not like that. But it's like boom, 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 boom. But I did a few, I did a few shows with the orchestra, and that's mm -hmm. like. Oh. 
That's so amazing. I love, I love opera and I love orchestra. Oh, me too. Oh. I will mean, I do it sometimes. Mm -hmm. I, I hope that actually when I finish the touring and the festival, that I can do like, I can redo my album with an orchestra, which would be amazing. That would be so dope. Yeah, I hope. So maybe a nice orchestra. Oh. <laughs> if you could relive one moment in your life, mm -hmm. what would it be? And what really a moment, maybe like, if I really had to go back, I'd probably go to like, one of my first big performances and then I would go back and think like, okay, you shouldn't be so afraid. <laughs> <laughs> so I could enjoy it more because yeah. I think sometimes, yeah, I think that's also a thing like that I learn now is like to enjoy things much more because in the beginning you were so stressed and yeah. it was like big moments, but you were like, <gasps> like on tense all the time. So you Not didn't breathe it. No. no. <laughs> yeah. So I would go back and like go back with what I know now and like yeah. enjoy it. Back to your new album. Yes. How would you say this album is different from your last? What is it specifically that you want your fans or your listeners to notice? Many things actually, because I thought with the first album it gave like a good introduction mm -hmm. of me, but it didn't tell like a, it only told one side of me, which was mm -hmm. a dark side. And as a person, I am actually not only that. I'm like I'm like most of the time very happy and very colorful and um, and raw. And I think yeah, and I wanted to have these elements in the album. I want to be like and very open because I felt like I was like. I was singing about some stuff, but not really serious. So I was like, hmm, I need any, if I put like more of myself into it, I can even give more on stage because I, I can touch like more like a, an emotion. So I was like, I, it needs to be honest. It needs to be uh, less polished, I think, mm. like less. Um, and it needs to definitely have elements of things I love. So like, actually what I told you, like I like old singers, but I, I like old blues, I like old funk, I like old soul, I like old jazz. So I just wanted to like put all these elements as well in the song. So it, it's like a little bit like a journey, getting to know me through my mistakes <laughs> and oh, stuff. So that. that is a little bit the idea, yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, could, could we possibly expect in the future you teaming up with some funk bands? Yeah, oh, I would love to. Morris Day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. I think, yeah, funk, and definitely I love funk. I, would, I don't know, next album, I'm actually already thinking about well, gonna, what I'm going to do. Mm. It's so interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I'm going to oh, do like yeah, a really nice like... collaboration, actually, which, oh, God, let's see, let's see. But can't tell yet because it's not. But yeah, there's coming some nice things, mm -hmm. which definitely, it, it's going to change again. This, the new album is going to be again different but that's life it's I think progression. yes you, you I think people who always stay the same are fucking boring that's I think <laughs> sorry that's why I've shaved my head five times yeah curse, this is okay oh, no. for New Yorkers be cursed in our sleep <laughs> but if you can choose one artist right now in the US to either open for or tour with who would it be in the US anyone even if they're not on tour even if they don't record anymore wow um there are many good artists in the US. <laughs> uh, let me think. I think, oh, I always like, like Lee Fields, but it's not really funk or soul. It's more, yeah, it's funk or soul, actually. Um, oh, wow. Um, any genre of music. Any genre. It could genre. be country. It could be Taylor Swift. It, really, <laughs> I think it wouldn't be. I don't know if Grace is still, uh, but yeah, I met her, actually. Oh, oh. she's amazing. I would doubt, yeah, Grace Jones done. Oh, oh man. I'm so jealous. That, I love Grace Jones. I would love, yeah, definitely. <laughs> She's amazing. She does like, <laughs> and I'll sing a little bit over it. I think it would be You cool. guys should sing Pull Up to the Bumper together. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would be so dope. You just like, <gasps> two bald heads and just yeah. like, oh, that would be fantastic. Oh, but she looks so good. Oh my God. I'm like She's doing so, all type of acrobatics on stage. Yeah, it's like, I'm so, it's like, whoa, well, you, you look better than me. It's like, so, it's like oh. oh yeah. So Gracie, that's an excellent one. Yeah. Oh, you went way left. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Okay. So on that note, do you still, because I heard a little rumor, a little birdie told me that you're possibly planning to cross over into the U.S. market. I would definitely want to go to the U.S. Yes, I'm like waiting until yeah. 
I yeah, I, yes, but it's difficult. The U.S. market is a difficult market, and especially for um, you know for um, Europeans because it's such a big market and you need to invest. So, it, it, so I'm actually waiting now till there's coming like a nice opportunity, and then I will definitely jump into it. Yeah, but, uh, but it's uh, yeah. If, I need a little bit of help in the U.S. You know, for me to start and to yeah, it's oh, it's very and yeah. But I yeah, I can't wait. It's like it's like on oh, like on the top of my bucket list yeah. to go to America. Yeah, definitely. Oh, but you but you will totally mesh in with our crazy beautifully. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think I love I, I, even New York and everything. I love it and. Mm. Uh, I actually met a few people in New York and uh, they suggested me to do some stuff and I'm actually planning to go to work a little bit there as well to like see, you know, maybe to write a bit of songs there as well with other writers. I don't know, but let's see. You, you would rock, for sure. I think, yeah. I, I, you're, a, you're a missing element. Yes, it's... <laughs> in the music industry in the US right now. <laughs> Everything sounds like Ariana Grande or... Well, there's yeah, well, yeah. There's a lot Nicki of Nicki uh, Minaj. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's pretty much cookie cutters of them. Yeah. Or you're at the top of the pyramid. You're Beyonce. Yeah, Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, interesting. Yeah, I feel like yeah. There's not a lot of in like a lot of individuality anymore. Like used to have like the punkers and like the this and the that. And now it's like a lot of mainstream yeah, going on. I don't know what happened to Avril. What? Avril, <laughs> where was Avril? You see? I actually was like like going to music with mm -hmm. my band and we were like listening to all these uh, old singers and I'm mm -hmm. like, where are they? I know, like my, one of my goes so favorite fast. bands is Green Day. Green Day. I love them so much. <laughs> yeah? They haven't recorded anything in a while. Avril hasn't recorded anything in a while and I'm just like, why? I'm gonna go to Europe to hear the type a... of music I want to hear because I'm sick of this mainstream. Yeah, you're like you said, it's cookie cutter. I like London a lot. Me too. <laughs> I like London, and I, I love, I love. You guys are really, it's, it, their scene is really funky. Oh my god, yeah. I yeah. recorded the first album, Tekken. Oh my god. Yes, I know. Your first album was recorded in London. No, Tekken. Right? Second. Second. First one was in Cuba. Yes. Cuba, and the second one was in London, and it was like. Yeah, very I love London. I, it reminds me a lot of New York as well. Yeah. In a way, some parts. Yeah. Very small parts. So we want you in New York. Yeah. What would you say is your signature style? Or which <coughs> brands or designers do you love to wear? I love, I like to love uh, very much en androgynous looks. Mm -hmm. And I like uh, Anne de Meulemeister, uh, Vivienne Westwood, nice. Jean-Paul uh, Gaudier, um, uh, uh, ooh, uh, uh, Comme de Garçon, mm. um, Yogi Mima, Mami, I never know. Yogi, Yogi, Yogi Mami Moto. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's not looking. So I love your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. And uh, I know, yeah, and I actually, I do like a lot of vintage. I like to like to buy like little, I like to combine like, some more expensive things with like, yeah, somewhat cheap look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is it? What am I wearing now? I don't know. Herba, herba, yeah. Like, I, I don't know. It's actually mix it, mix it, yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. I, I like, but I'm not like really like, okay, that's the fashion I need to have it. It's like, ugh, I don't like that. Yeah, I see what you mean. I'm the same way. I kind of just wear whatever is easy. Yeah, yeah, it fits you. <laughs> it fits with your personality. Yeah, because like, because the outdoor underwear is coming back with it, the Madonna garters and all that. Oh, no, yeah, I've got a lot of underwear. Look so La feel the old. Doing that. <laughs> no, but it's, I actually do it. Like, I have like the bras now over my clothes. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah, it's nice. But you I don't have to. belt it out in that? Yeah, of oh, course. Wow, I can't even breathe. In, 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 in bras. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. Oh, I can't, I can't. I couldn't see myself wearing it on top of my clothes. Oh. I, I can't wait to get out of this one right now. Really? <laughs> I'm not even wearing a bra right now. Oh, um, see, that's why you're in the black shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I still never wear one. Yeah, only on stage, which is weird, but yeah. Okay. Well, on stage, it might be a little necessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably. Just a little bit. But I'm sure the guys don't want that. <laughs> No, they don't mind. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I'm going to close with something easy breezy. Okay. What do you like to do during your free time? 
when you have time off? Is there something particular that you look forward to doing when you have time off? I like, uh, yeah, I like my friends, of course. I like to see my friends and to, you know, to have a little bit of good time, yeah. to party a little mm -hmm. bit. I like uh, I like my garden. I have a garden and I like plants and I, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're just like an onion. It just keeps layers, layers, and layers. Yeah, I, layers. I recently <laughs> found this out, but actually, I always thought they would die. But I, and then I started to talk with them and mm -hmm. sing to them, and then they grew. And now it's like it works. So you need to give a plant love, and and I've got so obsessed by it, obsessed by it now. So now I have like forty plants in my house or something. Oh, that's so cute! Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> so that's something. Yeah, I look forward to see my plants, and mm -hmm. my my friends they take pictures of my plants if they if they come out or like. This. <laughs> so yeah, and uh, I like swimming, and I like uh, I like sport. Uh, it makes me eat. Yeah, and um, I like I like my joint. I know. Man. That's I'm very much looking forward to I think everyone. everybody likes a joint now and then. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Me too. The Ger yeah, Germany is still a bit... Uh, nee, nee, nee. No. No? No. The religious, that's yeah. what we perpetuate to the outside of Germany. The, yeah. If you're in Germany, yeah. it's BS. We all... Because I think <laughs> you're a neighbor of Holland and like everybody's doing it now, so why not? <laughs> Let's do it. They just, you know, they have to have the, the facade of, you know, yes. being straight lace and, and I know, and I know. Introverted. I know, but it's happening anyway, so. Yeah. So if you legalize it, you get the tax. Yeah. And then, like, we, the German people don't have to pay as much anymore. Yes, Canada, I think, was it today or tomorrow? Because I, I saw online someone sent me, in two days, it's going to be legal in Canada. I'm like, Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it should be legal everywhere. Why yeah. is it like trickling through the planet? Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> it's a plant. Yeah. But the funny thing is, like, uh, like um, Bob Marley, he was, he's like he's fighting for this, like, for many, many years, which actually now is happening, which I think it's like good Bob Marley. Perfect. We, I know, right? We need to buy a shirt of Bob Marley and celebrate. He should Joy. be getting like a percentage. Yeah. <laughs> 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 to the Marley clan, you should be getting a percentage. <laughs> cool, well, that's all of my questions. Yes, Beautiful. It thank was so you. so lovely chatting with yes, you. Yes, it was so lovely. lovely. And I'm super looking forward to seeing you, you on stage. Me too. I know you're going to kill it. I've been listening to your vocals all day, and oh. I'm super excited. Yeah, me too. Because I'm sure if I'm in love for what I hear online, what I hear live tonight is going to blow me away. I can't wait. And let's see what you will think about we're it. We're going to take a few little video snippets. Yeah, 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 I heard it. That's too. fine. Pro so no problem. We're going to also share with everyone else what it's like to experience you live a little bit. Yeah. I can give everything away. Yeah. You got to come and buy a ticket and see her in tour. Yeah. In, <laughs> in America. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is a teaser for you to come out, spend the money, and come see her. She's well worth it. Oh, <laughs> oh thank you so thank much, you. beautiful. Yes. Lovely meeting I'm gonna you. Give come over here. Mm. Mm. Oh.